We're Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. For today's show, we've selected some really helpful topics. Now, these are topics you may not be thinking about, but once you see them... You may find yourself extra motivated from having one of those aha moments. <laughs> so stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. Bad situations can come in all shapes and sizes. New digital surveillance systems certainly give homeowners access to their houses while they're away, but that's only half the picture. Right. What about your valuables, important documents? You want them safe, too, protected from fires, evacuations, or burglars. And safe being the key word there. Safes are finding their way into the average household. Take a look. I have a coin collection that has grown in considerable size and value. And I don't feel safe leaving it laying in a closet somewhere. But at the same time, I don't want to lock it away where I can't get to it. Everyone has something of value they need to protect. And a safety deposit box at the bank is not only inconvenient, it can be a hassle when those valuables are needed pronto. Designing Spaces decided to unlock the door and take a look into the safe spaces you can have inside your home for valuables. We got together with Aaron Baker, President and CEO of Canon Safe, just as Elizabeth's new safe arrived. So. Who is buying a safe nowadays? You know what? Everybody's buying safes. Anybody who has something they want to protect, and we all have something that's valuable to us. So whether it's your next door neighbor, friends, relatives, your boss, everybody, we all have something that's valuable. Safes are a great way to organize your life. So passports. Have you ever left on a trip and like, where's my passport? Where are the tickets, right? You always know that when you have a safe. Coins, money, you name it. Anything that's valuable to you. Could be a family heirloom. Anything that represents value to you, you need to protect. Now, I associate safes rich and famous. Is that true? Are they expensive? There's a price for every budget. Whatever you have, there's going to be a good quality home security safe that will lock that up, protect it from fire, and give you the peace of mind you're looking for. Looks like Elizabeth's got it into position. Let's go check this out. All right. Looks great, guys. It's perfect. It's out of the way, and yet it's easy to get to. Check it out. Easy enough. Mm-hmm. Let me go get my coins, and you can show off my safe. Perfect. Now, this is a pretty big safe. Uh, where would you decide where to put your safe? You know, really where you have room is going to be the first thing. Garage is very common for a lot of people, an unused closet or a basement. But more and more, people are really starting to put them as a focal point of the room. I mean, it's nice enough looking. It could be in a nice office, even in your bedroom. Can you describe what's in here? What, what, what's in a safe? Yeah, I mean, really the safe is an organizational system. Remember, this is what you want to use to protect anything that's valuable to you. So whatever you don't want to lose in a flood, a fire, attempted break-in, you know, or even just being misplaced. There's a good organizational system right here on the door for your paperwork, anything that you get to often that you want to remember where it's at, okay? Even photographs. Then inside here, you know, you have all kinds of organizational systems here where you can have just a standard drawer for just larger items. You know, this is probably going to be the most important one. You need to make sure you fill this often. All right, this is the jewelry drawer, right? It's all velvet lined. You can put your rings in there, exactly, you know. And then, you know, for small items, you want to put a nice watch box in there, like that, you have this also. Down here at the bottom, it looks like there's a shelf that comes out. What is that all about? But down here... We have an area that's a gray area for file storage, okay, or even for electronic storage. You know, everything's electronically based today. A lot of people have home camera systems, and you have a little recorder that records everything that goes on in your home. If a thief breaks in, he takes that with him, you have no evidence of who broke in. Back here in the back, we have a media box. So this media box provides two electrical outlets, so you could have your video recorder in here, or your hard drive for your home network system. We have an RJ45 cable here, so you have internet inside of here for your computer, and a USB pass-through. So again, you could have your computer inside here or some type of media and have it connected to the rest of your home, but have it locked away safe and secure. Do they come in different sizes, models, price ranges? Some people need a, just a small little two cubic foot. 
Other people need something in the 30 cubic foot range. Some people need two hour fire rating. Some people only need a 30 minute rating. Really it's based on your situation. Where do you live? Do you live in an urban environment where the fire department's gonna respond very quickly? Or do you live in a rural environment where you can have a home fire where unfortunately your house could burn all the way to the ground? You need to really have a safe specialist help you when you're making this decision. And so by searching out your local safe specialist who can help analyze your needs, they can help you pick the right model. This particular safe right here is ETL verified for 60 minutes at 1200 degrees. Your entire house would be gone in 60 minutes. Most home fires don't last very long, about 15 to 20 minutes. So you would come back and find your safe burned up. It would look like on the outside. All the paint would be melted off, you know, it would look pretty bad. All your contents would be safe and secure inside. And the great thing about a Canon safe is if you call us at that time, we'll send somebody out. We'll get the safe open for you. You're gonna get your contents that were saved during that fire out. We're gonna bring a brand new safe, put it in place, and all that's a no charge to you. Is that under like a warranty or is that just part of the package? Yeah, so that's just part of the package that comes with the safe. It can safe guarantee replacement policy. So if your safe's ever damaged in an attempted break-in, fire, or flood, we give you a brand new safe free of charge. Is there a website I can go to or someone I can call? You know, the best place to go is the internet to canonsafe.com. That's going to be the most up-to-date, relevant information, let you know what the newest product's coming out. If you'd like to know more or are interested in seeing this portion of the show again, go to designingspaces.tv where you'll find links to all of our recent shows and the Canon Safe website. For Designing Spaces, this is Eric Bello. We'll see you guys around. A lot of good informative stories on the show today. I wish we had more time. That's what we do and it's what happens here. Lots of great info and so little time. So it's goodbye for now. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie, but we'll see you next time. Bye for now. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.